Hello, I'm Johnny and this is my YouTube channel. So, it was my birthday yesterday. I ordered all this stuff from the company Odea that do the art subscription box Artful. I am subscribed to that. Um, I've only got one month to go. Um, I subscribed annually. I think it's £35 a box and if you just pay for it, I think it's about 45 works out. I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's besides the point. But I ordered this stuff for my birthday and it came on my birthday but I was at work. So I thought I'd do the uh, videos today but it's starting to get dark now. It's what time? Quarter past seven at night. So I don't really want to do it when it's dark in me because uh, I'm in my kitchen and uh, I've got this horrible strip light and it leaves loads of shadows. So hopefully I'll be able to do it before it gets dark but I don't know let's see and that's me babbling again so I'll just show you I'm not gonna like do the unbox everything in one video I'll be like breaking it down Um. so this is me scroll box I haven't opened it yet shove that to one side uh, so these are from um, oh dear um, the paper gang boxes you can subscribe to these uh, I think it's monthly and uh, it's 19 pound a box but I paid and such a bargain it was I got far I bought five boxes and I only paid 22 pound I mean bargain I'm not really into I think uh, there's like stationary products and stuff but you can never have enough pens and stationery, so... And I'm always making notes uh, for my ideas and stuff. Mainly just on uh, boring line paper like this, so why not on um, fancy, nice stuff? And the boxes, the, um, I love the design on them. So it's the same with the um, subscription, the Artful. The boxes are so well thought out and the the designs are just amazing so i just keep them even though i've used the supplies out of them so yes yeah, so i got five of these for 22 pound now it's um the 27th of april today so i checked uh oh dear and the clearance there is a clearance still on but i don't know about uh the boxes if the boxes, uh, I think the mystery boxes are still discounted, but I don't know about these ones. But if I was you, I'd go on and have a look. And hopefully i put this video on, uh, upload it while uh, clearance is still on, so you can all grab a bargain. So, I got these, and I got this, um, I got this Lenore, it's a uh, Lenore, oh, I can't pronounce it. Linoleum, linoleum. It's linoleum, lino oh god. This is a blooper. It's a lino block anyway. It's for lino block printing. Um, in one of the uh, subscription boxes, there was a lino block printing box. Uh, you got everything with it, but I already had the um, the brie that you roll over. And I already had the, the cutting tool. I got that pretty cheap. I think it was off eBay. It was only about four quid. And you got all the cutting blades with it. So all I really needed was this. So I just bought this. I think it was only about a pound. And yes, it's... um. <sighs> you just like sort of create a design. Just say like a fish or something. And then you just um etch it out with your knife. Uh, so once you've got a pattern, you just put your ink on it and then splash it onto the paper and you get a pattern. Similar to these. There, can you see this? I think that's the same material as that for a different colour. So you just cut your design out and then put it in an ink pad and go like this and you get a nice design. And I've got these two as well. I'm not really into... Um, these things, we just thought they were pretty, I mean, I'll use them. These are about 50 pence each, stars. There. I think they're really nice. So, I mean, I have got ink pads. I bought them in uh, 
somebody was selling all the products, the uh, crafting products, and yeah, so that's that, Babylon. Right then, so then there was these mystery boxes. Um, let's see, look. It said mystery box, £60. I mean, I would never ever pay £60 for a mystery box. I wouldn't even pay it for an ad subscription box. Um, yeah, so £60 for the mystery box, and I paid £25.95 for it. So... I mean, if I don't like the stuff inside, I can always sell it on eBay, can I? I'll give it to somebody. And this is um, pretty full, and it's like poking through. Well, it's not poking through the top, but you can see it's lumpy. It's not flat. And then there was another one, and it was botanical. And I love her uh, botanical painting and drawing and stuff. So I thought, ooh, I wonder if um, this is the same. And it says, best of all, dear, medium mystery box. But because they're both the same design on them, I'm thinking it might be just the exact same box. But when I bought them, it just said medium mystery box and botanical mystery box. So hopefully uh, they are different. But I don't know if you can see, but it's, there's like a lump in it. At the same side, so I'm just assuming that it's like an identical box. But we won't know until we look into it. So, which, what should I do first? Should I do a mystery box? Or me scroll, no, I'll do me scroll box on a separate one. Um, mm, decisions, decisions. What should I do? Yeah, I'll do a, I'll do this one. Yeah, let's see. Do this one. And hopefully the thumbnail, if I do this, I might get a good thumbnail. Because when you upload videos on YouTube, you can put a thumbnail and take a picture and that's your thumbnail. But every time I take it, it says it's too big. So I'm hoping... If I show the one of these, the stop wasting your time now, right? So yes, we'll open this one. I'll just uh, pause the camera. Where do you open it? Oh, that's a rip tab, just like the artful. So easy to open. Oh, satisfying. Right, I'm just going to shove these out the way so I don't. Have any little accidents and there won't be happy accidents. Right. There we go. Ooh. Just posted a parcel today from my Etsy shop and it had uh, put some of this in and I ran out of it, but now I've got some more. Ooh, look a pin badge. Oh I like that. You see? It's a spaceman. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Hmm. And what's this? Oh my god. Grow red hot willy peppers. Hey. <laughs> How do you open it? I don't want to rip it. What is it? It just looks like a block of wood. Like a cube. Surely there must be a hole in there. I don't want to rip it where it, what's it say on here? Right. Grow your own red hot willy peppers. Oh god. This kit This kit includes everything to grow your own willy shaped peppers. Oh Maybe I should give this to me mum for her birthday. <laughs> I don't think she'll appreciate that. Will you mum? Because she'll be watching this. Uh, one coconut hook, husk starter pot and one coconut husk compost disc and a planter marker. Well, see if I can... I don't want to rip it because I might... Because um, this won't interest me, but um, I could give it as a present to someone so I don't want to rip it. Well, I can't give it out. 
So no, I'm not going to open it, but I think you can get the gist. There'll be like a lot of seeds. And how do they get them in the shape of willies? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's that. Ooh, socks. Put a sock in it. Get socks every... Oh my God, you can get... I didn't realise. You can get a subscription where you get socks every month. Size 6 to 11. Well... I take a size 13. I give these to my partner. I think he's a size 10. And they're a bit boring for me. I always wear odd socks. And they're all multicolours. Um, yes, these are a bit plain for me. But he will wear them. Right. What's this? Oh, it's a post-it. Yes, you can never have enough of them. I'm always writing me notes and sticking them all over the place. Uh, did you do it? Yes, I know. Well, in the past, I used to not do me tasks, but I make sure I do everything now. I make lists and I make sure I complete everything. So, oh, what did it say on the back? A hundred sheets. Yeah, so... That's that. And what's these? Pens. Let's see. Oh, they're pretty pens. They've got little flowers on. Doesn't say anything on the barrel. Hmm. I shall use me post-it to... Let's see. Sniff test. Don't smell of anything. Hmm. Let me see. Red. Yes, well, they're just pens, but I'm always looking for a pen, so. And they're really nice as well. Pretty, but no doubt people nick them at work. Alright, there's the colours. Blue, red, orange, black and green. Yes, blue, red, orange, black and no. Yes, so they're quite nice. Let me see what's this. Oh, listen to that. I love the sound of that paper. Positive pencils. Strange. Let me see. What are they called? Positive pencils. Maybe they've got like a logo on that. Let's see. Make your mark. They're just normal pencils. I'm gonna. Got me sharpener here. Love this sharpener, made by Derwent. They're like the old-fashioned sharpeners that you used to have when you were at school, but they were always on the teacher's desk, so if you wanted your pencil sharpening, you had to stand at the teacher's desk. And they were green as well, and metal. Let's see. Haven't sharpened very enough. But the only thing is, even though they are nice, and I do love pencils, but because it's got this clamp here, there, it marks your pencil, there, to keep the pencil in place, it sort of digs into the barrel, and it marks your pencil, but that's a nice sharp point. Doesn't say, maybe it'll say in like a pamphlet or something. Let's see what the pencil lead is. Yes, you can never have enough pencils or pens. Now, I'm not an expert on pencil lead, so I wouldn't hazard a guess what that is. But yes, some lovely pencils. 
and take this off. Oh, this feels like a mug. Oh, I mean, it's pink, but tissue paper. I love tissue paper, and I will use it. Oh, no, it's a pencil pot. Oh, I've seen these. Oh, I quite like these. What's it say? Made in China. Tocky pot. Uh, says on the bottom, Tocky. Oh, I like that. That's quite nice. It's like a pale blue colour. Oh, yes. There we go. Put my pens and my pencils in. Oh, yes. I really like that. Up to one side, pencil sharpen out the way, tissue paper out the way. Yeah, I can't get rid of that. Grow your own red hot willy peppers. Yes, ma'am, you're definitely getting off for your birthday. Right, let's see what's this. This is a daily planner by your dear. Sort your life out. No offence intended. Well, why would that? It's just what this product was created to do. Right. I'm not really into planners because um, it's a bit OCD, isn't it? To plan your life every day of the month. But um, I do keep a journal, but it's like for ideas, notes and stuff. Um, name, phone, email... Yeah, it's quite nice that it's um, it's got like material, material texture to it, but something's been resting on it because I can feel like the an indentation. Right, so the what's this date objective? Today's objective. Yeah, I suppose that will be handy. Yes. Unfortunately, it hasn't got any date on it, so it can be used any year. Urgent, not urgent. Yes, and the paper feels um, quite nice. Doesn't feel cheap, like some of the planners do. Um, and you get one of those bookmark things in them. Um, yeah, so that's that, a planner. It's quite nice. Right, what's this? Oh, that's nice. It's a notebook. Oh, I love that design on it. It's really nice. Hey, see, I tell everybody I don't like the colour pink. And this is like pink and white and green. And it's really nice. It reminds me of the um, 60s wallpaper. I wasn't around at the in the sixties, but my mum had something similar to this. <laughs> yeah, that's quite nice. I will definitely use that. So I'll just put the box to one side and put everything together that I've got in the box. Right. So there's the notebook. There's the planner. There's the um, post-its, then this gorgeous little, um, gorgeous little pencil pen jar. Oh, you you could use that as a um, plant pot, yeah, because I love cacti, so you could put a cacti in it. Oh, another plant, and then this um, badge. Um, these socks. And this willy thing. <laughs> right. So, am I happy with it? Yes, I am happy with it. And it was just like a, a one-time purchase. Wouldn't buy it again. And I'm um, sorry, oh dear, but I would never, ever pay £60 for this. I don't think it's worth it, £60 for this. £25, well, £25.95 I paid for it. Would I say it's worth it? Um, yes, I guess so. Cause you get the socks and the planner. Yeah. Well, this. If I seen this in a shop, 
um, like an Etsy shop, somebody had made whatever, I paid ten for it. So yes, I would say this is worth it, and I do like it, but not worth sixty quid. Sorry. So I will turn the video off now, and yes, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm going by me. Um, yes. Uh, Oh, I don't know if you can see. I bought this jacket. I don't think I can show you because I can't do with a... Well, I bought this jacket off eBay and it cost me £8, including postage and packaging. It's a Zara Man uh, denim jacket. I mean, it doesn't fit me yet because I'm fat and I'm going to Slim and Wild. And it's a large, so it will fit me in the future. Absolutely gorgeous. Um... I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's a dark colour. Just move these out the way. It's got nothing to do with the unboxing, but just... Well, it's a dark denim jacket, and on the collars it's got, like, studs on it. Um, and it's got studs on here as well. The... what do you call that? The collar, yeah. Yeah, so it's um, Sarah Mann, and just washed it. And I'll have to iron it. Oh, I hate ironing. Yeah, so that's that anyway. So, signing out now. See you, bye.